What if you should see Bruce here? Now, now for a while, a new line has been trying to get off the ground. A uh, new film take of uh, Stephen King's uh, Sounds Live. Now, of course, it was announced that Jake Gyllenhaal was uh, was being actually uh, star, but looks like they have found its lead. It's a part of that Lewis Palmer, who, by the way, is actually the son of Independence Day star Bill Palmer, which I, I think the students lost his stuff. I never knew he was Bill Palmer's son. I mean, I guess I can see the resemblance now. He definitely has a bit of a Bill Pullman uh, look to him. But anyway, it's a part of that Lewis Pullman has uh, nabbed the lead role in uh, New Line's adaptation of Stephen King's best-selling novel, Salem Vlog. Uh, the film is said to be directed by uh, Gary Duberman, who also scripted uh, the It um, adaptation. And his last directing film was um, Ed Bell Comes Home, which I thought was pretty cool, Jim. Uh, anyway... In it, uh, Lewis Pullman will star as author Ben Bears, a man who returns to his hometown, his uh, childhood home of Jerusalem, a lot in search of inspiration for his next book, only to discover that his hometown is being preyed upon by, by a vampire, leading him to band together with a ragtag group of, um, that will fight on the evil presence. David Stowe played the part of Lot, played the part in Lot's uh, previous screen adaptation. Uh, the 1979 miniseries from Toe Hooper, the director behind Texas Chainsaw and Poltergeist. Uh, for New Line, the project will see the unit of producing um, team behind two of the most biggest horror franchises, The Conjuring and It, Atomic Monsters, James Wan, and Michael Clear, whose uh, Conjuring Universe movies, uh, four of which were written by Newman, has um, generated over two billion worldwide are producing. Uh, it's not saying if it's going to HBO Max or theaters. It's New Line. Most New Line of films has been has been pretty much going straight to HBO Max. So yeah, but anyway, the role promises to be a breakthrough and career making for Pullman, who, like I said, is the son of Bill Pullman, the beloved actor who um, appeared in Independence Day. Uh, Lewis Pullman fills um is an um is an actor in his own rise, making his uh, feature on debut opposite his father in the western film of The Ballad of Lefty Brown. That was actually a pretty good western. He also appeared in uh, Drew Goddard's Bad Times at the El Royale and Strangers Pray at Night, uh, as well as George Clooney's uh, miniseries Catch Point 2. He'll also be seen in the upcoming Top Gun Maverick, as well as the Amazon series Out of Range with Josh Bro Brolin. Now, you know, I was not really a fan of Bad Times at the El Royale, but I will say right now, he was actually the redeeming quality of that movie. I think mean, he was really solid. So I'm really looking forward to see like a to see like a career, you know, breakthrough uh role for Lewis. Uh you know, he, like I said, he had stuff beforehand, like Strangers Pray at Night. Uh he was also in that movie, uh that Billy J. King film, uh, with um uh, Emma Stone called uh Battle of the Sexes, I think it was called. He was also in that, he was pretty solid in that film too. So yeah, I'm really interested to see where his career is gonna go and maybe this will be a groundbreaking role for him. Uh, so, yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, anyway, no release date has been set, but let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on Lewis Pullman being cast, uh, as a lead in the upcoming Stephen King film adaptation of Salem's Lot? Do you like the casting choice? Are you looking forward to checking out Salem's Lot? Uh, you know, um, are you a fan of Lewis Pullman? And have you ever read the, uh, book or seen the original film it's based on? Drop a comment below, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timmy Simon.